Now, it was billed as a flood, but it's been barely a trickle so far. Despite the lurid headline warnings before the new year, there's been no sign that masses of Romanians and Bulgarians are heading for these shores. But the rhetoric about immigration since then has been described as heated at best, toxic and divisive at worst. This week I've been speaking to Christian Vigenin, the Bulgarian foreign minister, and I started by asking him if he thought Bulgarians had been demonised in this country. Yes, they have been demonised and uh, it had a negative uh, impact, uh, first of all, uh, uh, about the image of UK in my country on one hand, and on the other hand, it had certain negative impact on the people that are already here and uh, that are uh, working here, that are good uh, um, are people who contribute to the uh, economic development and to the welfare system of UK. But as you know, UKIP is a very strong political force now in Britain, and they have been leading the debate on this. They could do very well in the European elections. What do you think of Nigel Farage? Uh, I have strong disagreement with a number of uh, the, let's say, the, the messages he's sending, not only here in UK, but also in the European Parliament. How many Bulgarians do you think are going to come to Britain? It is difficult to predict precisely in numbers how much would come. We cannot speak really about uh, immigrants from other EU member states because all, all of us are uh, EU citizens. The idea of, of, the, of a united Europe in which we don't think of immigrants, we just think of European citizens, uh, is fiercely opposed by huge numbers of Britons. I mean, that argument is exactly what uh, will, will cause British politicians nightmares. I don't know the details of your internal debate here, but that is the reality.